this video, we're going to explain why water crystallizes. What does water do when it freezes? It goes from a liquid, and then all of a sudden, if you've ever seen like a snowflake form or crystallize, it goes out in straight lines, different little angles in a, in a line, and then it gets solid, as in you have to break it or melt it. You either have to break it or melt it to get apart. And we're going to explain that, and it's going to be easy. And we're going to show you it with the key ring atom. This here is a water molecule, H2O, rolls like a ball, and as we said, as it gets colder, it lays out flat. So, if you come over here, this is a piece of ice. It's one molecule, it's laid out nice and flat and straight. So what's the next one going to do? It's going to lay out straight just like that as well. It's going to align itself with it. And what's that going to do? That's going to produce your crystalline structure. Or if one breaks off to the side, goes off another way, and they'll follow out that way. That's how you're going to get the crystalline structure. Now, why does ice become hard? You have to break it. Well, it's actually simple. As you lay this in here, they stick. Look at that. They stick together. And let me show you how that works even at a, at a lower level than just at the molecular level here. Like if you take this here, this is a hot hydrogen and a, and a cool hydrogen. If you stick them together, the rings come in and out quite easily. But if you take one that's cold, like this right here, the, the electron rings get tighter and they get wider. So whenever it sticks in, <clears throat> what's it going to do as it gets colder? This is going to be like a, uh, the solid. This is why it gets so hard. And to, to break the ice, you're going to have to hit it or hammer it, and that's what you're going to have to do to break that apart. And that's how water crystallizes and becomes so hard. It's so easy to explain with the key ring atom. Now, if you have this atom, can you explain why water or ice crystallizes? Look how it sticks together. This is easy to understand. You can see how it forms a straight line. Easy. Now, if you take the old magic atom, all these balls rotating around and orbiting and stuck together with valence shells, and as it stops or slows down and vibrating, it crystallizes and it becomes a solid. Get any idea how that works? If you can't explain with that atom, and you can with this one, with this one, there is an easy explanation. Physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry. Mm -hmm.